One of El Paso's most notorious killers is dead tonight. David Renteria is seen here in this updated prison photo. His execution tonight brings an end to a heartbreaking story, the kidnapping and murder of five-year-old Alexandra Flores just days before the Thanksgiving holiday on November 18th. 2001. Hello everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Robert Olguin and I'm Liz Duwicki. So the state of Texas carrying out David Renteria's death sentence this evening. That execution coming almost 22 years to the day that she was taken from a local Walmart never to be seen alive again. Members of her family were present today when the 53 year old Renteria took his final breath. KFOX 14 News at 9's Jennifer Cuevas joins us now live in the studio after talking to the El Paso district attorney who was there for the execution. Jennifer. David Renteria was pronounced dead at 611 El Paso time this evening after receiving a lethal inje injection at a prison in Huntsville, Texas. Renteria's execution was briefly put on hold today. Now his defense team filed an appeal claiming the drugs that were used to be for the execution had been compromised in a fire and would cause him extreme pain. The appeal was denied. Moments ago, I spoke with El Paso District Attorney Bill Hicks, who was present at the execution. He said today was a long and difficult day, but one that was a long time coming. I'm very, um, I'm very pleased because uh, finally uh, that, that very precious and very innocent little five-year-old girl uh, can now rest in peace. Uh, Alexandra has... Um, uh, she has she has justice now. Hicks, who witnessed Renteria's execution from one of three viewing rooms, said Renteria was very calm and compliant when called by the warden. He said, yes, warden. Uh, he walked with the uh, warden into the room, uh, laid down on the bed. He was very, he was very calm. He was very understanding. Hicks added Renteria prayed saying and asked for forgiveness as the lethal injection flowed through his body. Renteria's last statement read in part, quote, I am a man of many faults for those I have hurt and caused pain in their life. I beg for forgiveness. Let everyone know I am sorry for all the wrongs that I have done. They wanted to hear him taking responsibility. They wanted to hear him um, acknowledging what he had done. They wanted to hear him asking uh, for forgiveness for what they had, what he had done to their to their little sibling, to their little, their little, their little sister. Now Hicks was the assistant district attorney when Renteria was convicted. He says he remembers the emotion in the courthouse and in the city, and he is now content to see this case come to a close. I'm live in the studio tonight, Jennifer Cuevas, KFOX 14 News at 9. It's something so harsh that I honestly don't even have words to express how I feel. Yeah, meantime here in memory of that five-year-old girl, a park near the area where she grew up continues to bear her name. Members of the San Elisario community say they've never forgotten her and honor her every time they go by that park. It's honoring her memory because even though she was a young girl, she still had her whole life ahead of her. It makes me happy, and I think it's an honor, I think, for the community and for the family that the park is named after her to always remember her. Now, this park here, dedicated to Alexandra in 2007, is just a few yards away from the school she once attended on Socorro Road. Meanwhile, a local group opposing the use of the death penalty in Texas did make a statement today against the execution of Renteria. The Texas Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty contacted the Pardons and Parole Board, urging them to grant clemency for Renteria, who they say had been a model inmate. We're trying to um, raise awareness here in El Paso to what this system is, does in our name, with our money, actually. Uh, it's a very broken, political, biased, it's, it's a barbaric uh, system, the death penalty. So the coalition detailed his childhood in El Paso and his rededication to his Catholic faith during his incarceration. However, the board ultimately declined.